All right, so welcome to another vlog. I started cleaning out my whole closet and I figured I should probably just vlog this, start a new vlog. Wow, this, that looks a little dirty. I actually have four bags of clothes already to donate and I'm only like halfway through my closet right now. I have these two slide out bins that I keep under my bed. They just have like little wheels on the bottom and I transfer the clothes for seasons under here. So I had all my summer stuff in here. I brought it into the other room, went through that stuff and then I brought some of my like sweaters and coats and stuff in here. So these are going to be going under the bed since it's getting warmer now. So far this is my donate pile. So I've gotten rid of a ton of stuff. This is where all of my coats were on and I took off the winter ones. These are the ones I'll probably still wear like in spring and summer and stuff. And I think I'm gonna put all the coats on one side and then I'll probably hang either some dresses and stuff on this side or things that I wanna take some photos in or whatever. I have that in a bin right now. This is like clothes that I want to shoot at some point. And I just really need to go through my swimsuit box because it is overflowing. And I'm pretty sure I wore like two swimsuits last year the entire summer, so I don't need 500. And this section is just a shit show. This used to be only my dresses and then I kind of turned into like a mosh of lots of things. So it goes all the way back too, so I definitely need to clean out this and just kind of like reorganize it so I can actually see what I have. If you haven't tried Dasani Black Cherry, you need it in your life. It is so much better than LaCroix. I love LaCroix too, but this is bomb. So good. So far, my Does someone here. need this many black dresses? I don't know, but I feel attached to all these. Okay, so I got this top part more cleared out. These are all like nice dresses. I think there's also some back here though that I'll be hanging up there. And then I got rid of a lot of stuff right there. This is a black skirt and I have my other skirts down here. So I need to put all those in one place. All right, so it's like now getting kind of dark out. So I'm done with this section looking so much better. Literally, I think I got rid of like half the stuff. I have five bags now. And then this is actually pretty empty down here. So I might get a double rack thing so I could put like more shoes or something else. These are just some of the swimsuits that I want to bring when I go to Hawaii in a couple weeks. And then here's the rest of my swimsuits. So I didn't get rid of a whole lot of these actually. So I just hung the Bayrita little thing right there that Amy made me, made, well, Amy made me from the meetup. And I don't have the lights on or anything. This is just what it looks like from here. But And then I kind of like straightened out the lights a little bit with nails. Also hung that hat up there. This is just over my little clothes rack thing. This corner right here is like weird looking because this is just what you see in the background of my videos. So <laughs> it's kind of an interesting situation. I might move that stuff around a little bit, but it's so cool. I love this. So that'll be in the background now. Kind of blurred out, but uh, we'll see how it looks. As I was cleaning out my closet, I found my 100,000 subscriber play button. And this is just so crazy because I vividly remember when I got this in the mail. But I'm going to hang this up right between my little closet doors right here, I think. This still has the floss from when my dad hung it. That's literally dental floss right there. And then this one was also from the meetup, the Pittsburgh meetup. And I love this. Look at the mug. Isn't that cute? I don't think you guys saw the setup behind where I filmed before. But I am pretty proud of what I just came up with. So normally this dies every, it, it'll die like in the middle of video sometimes because it's just such a bright light. So I actually attached it, like plugged it into the wall right there, hung my reflector up. This one reflects this guy, which when I turn on, it's just like a warmer light. There we go. So that one bounces that back. And then this, you can also adjust the temperature and the brightness. I got this off of Amazon and I basically just like, I put a, a little nail there and then I hooked it on the back right there. And then when I'm done filming, I can just turn it off like that. Before there were two big lights on the ground that my chair would always run into. And then this was just kind of like sitting, like leaning against the wall. All right guys, good morning. It is 4.53 in the morning. <laughs> so I am jet lagged, hence why I'm awake at 4.50 in the morning. I got back from London yesterday, I think and I leave tomorrow for Hawaii. So I figured I would kind of just vlog today since a lot of stuff needs to get done and we're gonna start off by going to Starbucks. Are they even awake now? Awake? Wow, are they open? I'm pretty sure Starbucks is open like all the time. By the way, no caffeine update. I'm still having about one cup a day. So uh, I should probably put some pants on. Let's go get in the car. So these are my hydrating micellar water. So my hair is a little wild right now and like not styled at all because I'm actually going to Christine today 
in Gig Harbor. My appointment's at 11, so I have to leave here at like 9.40ish. So I wanna get video edited before that. I need to start packing. I haven't packed at all for Hawaii. So basically I'm taking out the NBRs temporarily, permanently, I'm not really sure. I just want my hair to be able to like be wet in the summer and be able to go in the lake and stuff and not worry about the extensions or just not have that like weight on my head. And I figured before Hawaii would probably be a good time to do that. I love them. If I get extensions again, I will definitely be doing MBRs. And I totally still recommend them if you, you know, kind of want to splurge on extensions, if not get tapins. But I just feel like right now for the summer, I just want to have my own hair. My own hair is getting very long. So I'm curious to see how it looks once everything is out. And I've also been off Amavig, which was the medication that was thinning out my hair for like a month so not a super long time but hopefully that kind of helps it wasn't doing anything so i got off that but i am trying age of e next month so today we're just gonna take them out she's gonna dye my hair there's still some pieces of the light coming through so i just want her to put the black all over and then i need a major trim because i haven't cut my hair in like god i don't even know maybe like six or seven months so i just want everything to be one color and like even across so it doesn't look all straggly. I got this new Tarte serum that I'm trying for the morning. It's the Youth or Dare Multi-Acid C Serum. Super pretty packaging. It smells good. It smells actually really similar to the C Firma by Drunk Elephant. And it feels really similar too. It feels like a light kind of serum. The Sunday Riley one feels more like a lotion. It's super moisturizing. Putting on my La Roche Posay. So the other one I showed in the Pack With Me video is definitely more matte. So if you have oily skin, you might like that one better. This one is super glowy and I love it for my dry skin. But that one, it wasn't dry and curling. It just didn't have a glowy finish at all. I just packed it because it was easier to travel with since it was like way smaller. So later today, I also am gonna self tan for Hawaii. I used the tan remover last night, the Bondi Sands tan remover last night, and holy crap, this stuff was amazing. I put it on and it wasn't like looking like it was doing anything, but as soon as I got in the shower and started scrubbing my legs, it just like came off. It smells intense, like it smells like straight up hair dye, literally. So if that bothers you, you probably don't wanna get this, but I just picked this up at Walgreens and it works amazing. Let's get some Laneige lip sleeping mask up in here. So I'm just going to put on pants and some Uggs. I never wear a bra when I go through Starbucks in the morning. And I usually just wear whatever shirt I slept in, so Starbucks ladies see me real cute. Okay, the road was actually closed to the Starbucks drive through so I had to actually walk into a Starbucks. I know, wild. But I went in, got a Grande Iced Cloud Caramel Macchiato. I've been hooked on these. They're so good. I feel like people either really like these or really don't like them. I think it's bomb. I only have to get a straw because to mix it all. I also got a butter croissant. And uh, yeah, I also remember I have four loads of laundry to do today. So once I get back, I'm gonna start that. I think they forgot to put the caramel syrup in this one. So when I got home, I just added some coconut cream coffee mate and this, oh my God, game changer. This is so good. I feel like I'm just gonna pour this in myself from now on because this combo is like maze balls. So I'm back at Christine's. We just took out all the extensions, which took like 10 minutes so quick. And I feel like my hair feels way thicker now, my natural hair, since I've been off that medication. So that's exciting. And here's the length. It's kind of hard to see against the black, but. So we're gonna do the black dye on the roots and kind of run it through and then also just trim my hair. I want it to be like straight across. But yeah, I'm so excited that it's not as thin as it was before. So the extensions are out. So here's all my real hair now. We just trimmed it, colored it. Yeah, but it. does it feel like you just took out extensions? Like your hair feels no, th thicker? Yeah, it doesn't feel mm -hmm. like straggly or anything. Yeah. Nice and, and then maybe cut off an inch. Oh, did you? Yeah, just so to clean it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> so I'm back from Christine's. I am busy packing. This room is a total mess right now, so I'm showing you nothing else besides my suitcase. But uh, it's going to be a tight squeeze. That is an Amazon dupe. I showed it in the pack with me video. And I basically want to try on this pile of stuff right now to see what the heck I want to bring to Hawaii. Christine, so nicely 
gifted me this Orbe hand wash because I was in her bathroom and the hand wash that she had in there smelled like the best smelling hand soap I've ever smelled in my entire life. It smells like a perfume. I had no idea Orbe made hand soap too and like hand cream and stuff and that there were only hair care, but it smells heavenly. So thank you, Christine. Super sweet of her. And look at this packaging. So I ordered this super cute. How freaking cute is this? It's a mini, it's supposed to be a mini waffle maker. I got this off Amazon. They had tons of different cute colors. But I saw someone, I don't even remember where I found this, but I saw someone use this for frozen hash browns and I was like, that is genius. So it's just super tiny. So you don't have to have like a huge thing and store it. It says once the blue light is off, I think it's ready to go. That's what it said. So I'm gonna try and make a Trader Joe's um, hash brown in here, just the frozen one. But you could also use this, like sometimes I'll make protein pancakes with the Kodak Kodiak um, powder stuff. So you could make like mini protein waffles in here or eggs probably. I mean, it would give like the, you know, that print. Okay, this is totally working. Look how cute. I don't know why this seems like so much less of a hassle than a pan in my mind, but it is. I'm just gonna put on some everything bagel seasoning and uh, eat my hash brown over here. Okay, so I figured I would show you guys the swimsuits I am packing because some of them are, actually most of them are like new so you could still find them and they're super cute and very affordable. So I'm gonna have all these linked down below. I can't remember the exact site where this one was from. It was either Zoffel or Romway, probably, probably Romway. But again, I'll have them all linked down below. Super cute. This one fits really good. And the bottoms are also really flattering. They have this like three little strappy thing on the sides. And they're not too high. Whenever I order on Zoffel or Romway, I make sure that the butt is going to cover. Because a lot of theirs have like the thong backs. And this one actually covers. And I'm going on a family <laughs> trip, you know. So I'm not trying to wear like a thong bikini. This one is older i got this off of hot look it has like really cute side straps so i don't think you can still get that one but this one you can definitely get still got it on the same site as that other pink one really cute front tied top and then like thicker straps i'm bringing a lot because i don't know what we're going to be doing this one i got off amazon that i showed in the amazon favorites video and then i also just packed like a plain black top that's a little bit more high neck but those are some of the swimsuits I'm bringing. Anyone else pack candy with them or is it just me? <laughs> Red vines. And then over here I have all my shirts, boyfriend's pants, uh, top, <laughs> wow this is embarrassing, top ramen. You guys I get hangry so I just gotta make sure I got emergency food you know. I also recently picked up a few pairs of shoes on Nordstrom. If you have size four, like myself, or small feet, BP at Nordstrom is one of the best brands. Basically Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack is the only place in Holoc that I can find small shoes. These ones are so cute. They're really comfy since they're platform. They're not actually that high. Like your foot is only arched that much. So I'll have these linked down below. And then I also picked up, oh, did I pack those? These ones, but these are Topshop brand. I didn't realize Topshop made size fours but they do i think these ones are might be 4.5 but they're really cute so the toe just like peeps through right there okay here are the other ones and steve madden recently started i guess making size four and a half so these are a little bit big you guys need to let me know what you think of these down below because i'm very <laughs> undecided about them i don't know if i'm going to keep these i wanted like something for the summer that was really comfortable but also super cute but that I could like bike in. Let me know down below if you think I should keep these or return them. But those are a few summery shoes that I got off of Nordstrom. Alright, so I'm heading off to the airport for Hawaii in about a half hour. So I'm just finishing up packing stuff. Just did my makeup. I don't know if I'm going to do eye makeup. I've been kind of feeling just like foundation and brows lately. But I'm probably going to be sleeping on the plane anyways because it's a six hour flight. So rather not have things on the eyeballs but i self tanned last night and this morning because i tried the bondi sands gradual or like the express tan that i picked up at boots which you guys will have already seen that video it didn't do a whole lot like it was very natural looking but it was just like a really light natural color and i wanted it like a little bit darker so i put on my saint tropez three hour express tan it's one of my favorites it's in the blue bottle it's the best and I just left it on for a couple hours this morning. So you can see like my chest and arms and stuff. 
it's super even it has a really pretty color to it if you have fair skin oh there we go look at the camera adjusting it's one of my favorites because you can leave it on for an hour to three hours and then you just wash it off so you don't even have to sleep in it and get your sheets all orange and things and when i self tan i've been just bringing the number seven foundation drops to darken and lighten like one other foundation so i brought the lawless foundation which i usually can't wear because it's too dark but when i have self tanner on like this it's actually way too light so i brought the number seven drops to darken it so that's what i have on right now with the mac fix plus setting spray over top and i got my period other good news right before hawaii literally my body every single trip before especially if i'm going to be in a swimsuit i get my period every time without fail it happens to my mom too i don't know what it is Okay, so I'm back from both London and Hawaii. I've been back for a few days just filming and working, and now I leave tomorrow morning for San Diego. So Hawaii was amazing. I feel like I had like an actual vacation. It was so nice. Usually I'm like way more into mountains and like lakes and stuff, but there was something about Hawaii that was just so, so nice. I feel like recharged, but basically I'm just running around today. I filmed this morning. This is the UK makeup first impressions video that I think will be probably coming after this video. I'm not really sure the order of everything right now. I leave super early in the morning, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be starting another vlog when I'm in San Diego, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can give this a thumbs up. I have a whole vlog playlist down below. I usually post like a couple bonus vlogs a month, so I have lots of vlogs down below, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.